Not sure what the reception looks like here. Come on in. Uh, JLR investigates. This is unbelievable here. This is a migrant camp here on the U.S. side of the border. There's over 100 migrants here that just crossed over illegally from Mexico. And I, it, it's so surreal. And it's just a, a, a camp here. And they're waiting. They're waiting for Border Patrol. And they're lined up in groups. Like over there, that's a group from China. That's a group from India, Colombia. Um, this is just, I, I have no words for this. I have no words for this um, of what's going on here. Now, let me know what the reception is like because I am out in the middle of nowhere. It might be fuzzy. I seems like I have internet. So we'll see what's going on. This is pretty wild, folks. Can you guys see okay? It's crystal clear. Look at this, folks. Where are you going? Donde, uh, donde vas? Eh, La Bea, Florida. Florida? What, what, what city in Florida? La Bea. La Bella, Florida. Okay. Look at this, folks. More are coming. You got to share this video out because this is out in the middle of the desert, rolling hills. You got a fire camp. I just witnessed the whole operation go down, folks, and It's really bad here. And, and I can give kudos to Border Patrol um, in this particular area. I'll give kudos to them because let me just give you some insight. Look at this. This is a camp in Hakumba, right on the U.S. side. And cars and cars of pickup trucks come down there and they go down to the end and drop off migrants in an organized fashion and then the migrants all come up here and they stay up here and they're coming from all countries there's china there's india there's uh, south america there's uh, colombia there's venezuela and i'll give kudos to border patrol because when i arrived here border patrol was like you need to go down to the end and share what's going on and how they're coming in because there's a hole in the fence where the fence stops at the very very end and they're just the, the, the vans are coming, the, the vans and the SUVs and pickup trucks are were racing down the dirt road on the Me Mexican side and they're all coming out and then the vans and the cars go off and then they just come into this country. It is is so, so surreal. Now we have a hundred here. We have a hundred here and I hear cars in the distance might be border patrol now i don't know what happens here the locals are telling me that once a day a bus comes here and picks up the migrants other than that they have to stay here right look here we go here we go here's another cartel or somebody shipping them right there it's a pickup truck see it 
and that's loaded of migrants and it goes down to the end and they drop them off and then they just cross in down at the end down here the wall ends The wall ends down here, all the way down there, by that mound down there it ends. And then they just come over and they walk over. And then they make their way up here. And you can just see it's just a, like a makeshift camp. You must see this for yourself. This is Akumba. There's another one, see? They're leaving. They take them in pickup trucks. So that one is leaving, it probably dropped off. So very shortly, we're gonna see another group of migrants. And you can see the dirt down there. And you're gonna see a group of migrants walking. Look, you can see it in the distance, they're coming. And it's just a constant flow. And I asked Border Patrol, how often does this occur here? And they said every 15 minutes, a group of migrants will be dropped off. And we're talking about maybe like in a groups of 20 or 30. And then they all come up here. They'll come up here to this location. What's wild is, what's even more wild was border patrol, there was two border patrol vehicles here and they were telling each nationality to get in a certain line, right? So they're like, if you're from China, go over there. If you're from China, go over there. If you're from India, go right there. If you're from, I think they said Colombia or Venezuela, go right there. And they're all based off where, what country they're from, right? And then Border Patrol, the two vans that were here, and those guys were nice. They were nice as can be. Then they just left. They just left, and they just left them here. So they're just sitting here waiting, I guess, for a bus to come. Uh, locals have told me that a bus comes once a day to this location. Other, you know, so that's why you see these camps out here. This is a, you know, they have campfires out here. They burn stuff out here. I'm shocked that the reception is so good out here. And it's it's probably right now in the upper 40s right now. No, the, the fence ends down there. There's not a hole. Well, I said a hole in the fence, but at the end, there's just no fence anymore. So that's where they're, 
coming from. Let's go back down and see if more are coming because you saw the trucks zoom by, most likely dropped more off. We even got a porto potty out here. Now this is the wall, folks. All right, the next group is walking. They're coming down. You can see them in the distance. They'll be joining this group. Oh my gosh, there's a large group coming. See that? See that? And here comes the, uh, their transport. Here comes their transport truck. There it is. That drops them off. This is Mexico. Look at all these papers. Look at all this trash. And this is the group that's coming, the next group that's coming. So we'll see how many come. I'd say that's probably a group of 20 or 30. And then they'll meet up with this group here. I might stay here for another day and document just how many come through. See that? Uh, where do they get food and water? Great question. I don't know. Isn't that wild, folks? We'll wait for these individuals to come up. Okay, here comes another cartel truck with more of them. Here, here's more of them. Here's more of them, folks. They keep loading them and loading them. Loading them out. They'll drop them off at the end of the road there where the where the wall ends and then they'll walk, walk up. Look, there's there's multiple groups coming. Look at all this. Look at this. There there's three big giant groups coming. 
Share this video, folks. Share this video. So this first group here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20. So they might be coming in groups of 20. And you see the next one coming. So it might feel like 20 into one of those SUVs. Remember, uh, folks, the next group is coming up in the back, too. Look, it just keeps coming and coming. There's so many people coming. Hello. Ecuador. What uh what a uh, city? What city? Uh Chicago, Los Angeles, New York. Uh, New York. New York. And here comes the next group, folks. They just keep coming and coming in waves, man. It never stops here. In Hakumba. It never stops. You need to share this video out and share what's really going on in Akumba. You know, in a humanitarian aspect, I'm not going to say anything derogatory or say anything wrong to anyone here. I'm just documenting. If they say hi, I'm going to say hi back, ask where they're going, whatever. I'm not going to express any anger towards anyone or say anything uh, sharing, you know, what's going on here. Uh, this is... I, I, I have no words. I really have no words. <laughs> now, I think this is a media outlet. Yeah, this is media. These are media guys. I saw them earlier. They were down there with a the drone. Look at this. See what I mean? They're just using the hole in the, the, the end of the wall to come in. They're using that spot to come in. Border Patrol, or maybe some sort of, wait, wait, what is that? TRC? I don't know what that is. You got um, more media.
I am in Hakumba. Looks like um, Asian. Asian. He has a phone. Look at this. It just never stops. It just never stops, folks. And behind this group, there's another group coming. In the back. There's already, okay, so we got Border Patrol finally here. Border Patrol finally here. Let's see what they do. They're all, look at this. They're all lining up for Border Patrol. We'll go see what's going on. Border Patrol just goes right past them. He said there was 23 in one vehicle. 23 in one vehicle. More coming in. There goes the van. There goes the shippers. Dropping them off and dropping more off. Where are you going? Huh? What city? Uh, my country, my city. Yeah. China. China. Yeah, uh, where are you going in the United States? Uh, yeah. I, I want to go to the United States. Uh, where? What city? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Uh, uh, yeah. So you don't know where you're going? Yeah. Los Angeles, Chicago. Maybe. Maybe. So you come from China. Yeah. How did you get here? You speak English. Uh, a little. A little. Uh, Three, three months. Three months to China to. Three months. Yeah, three, three months. Did you travel through Mexico? Yeah. Uh, did you take a plane from China? Yeah, plane? China to to Dubai. Dubai. Turkey. Dubai. Uh, to, Dubai. Turkey. Turkey and. Uh, Turkey. And, uh, um, Kido. Kitor. Kido. Kido. Uh, Bogota and Panama. Bogota, uh, Panama. Panama. Uh, and Honduras, uh, Guatemala, uh, uh, Mexico. Mexico. You travel how how many in your group? How many? How many how many people? Like how many your 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 group? I I don't know. Mm, my family and four people. So why leave China? Why leave China? Uh, hard, to, hard to say. You know? China is um, I I can't say. I I I uh, it's hard to say. Hello? Oh. Hello? President. Yeah. 
Traded a couple. Or oh, do you plan to work here in America? Work? Job? Uh, no. What What are you going to do for work? I'm, I don't know. Not, 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 not really. I don't know. Everything is uh, So you don't know where you're going? You yeah. don't know, you don't like no city, no nowhere. You yeah. just leave China. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so no job. He just very, pretty much he said, this is what he told me, folks. He was like uh, the Chinese president, Jinping. That's what he said. Line is growing. There's there's over a hundred here, folks. Where are you from? Hello, where are you from? China? China, where where you go? No, 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 uh, what's, what city? Uh, Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, city? No English. I got a translator, hold on. I got a translator, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna translate in China. Look, right there, where you go? What, a city, like where you go? Okay, no, can't read? Okay, thank you. I have a translator. I asked him where where you go in Chinese. This video must be shared, folks. This video must be shared. You speak English? No, Espanol. No. Uh, donde, donde vos? Uh, what city are you going? Chicago. Chicago. Illinois. Illinois. Gracias. I'm going to go up here on the mountain so you can just see. Look at this. Oh, wait, we got something here. There's a van over here with food or somebody. Somebody came and dropped and, and dropped off some something for them. There's a van over here. Yeah, food and water. Somebody's dropping food and water off for them. Hello. Hello. JLR investigates. What's going on? We're just giving water to these people because nobody else does. Uh, are you a local from uh, Kumba? Yeah, I live there. What's your name? Sam. Sam. Um, are you like a private organization or just no, a, in no, a... We're just a couple guys who like this. 
don't like to see people squatting in the dirt with no water. So do you come out here like every day to give? I have been lately. Late. How much do you spend? Where do you get the water from? What's that? Where do you get the water from in the food? Oh, people donate. So donations, and then you uh, come and give them. Hello. <laughs> 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 Women and children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 All right, so this gentleman here is just a local, and he's coming to give the migrants that crossed over illegally food and water. That's donated. How uh, do you guys come back? Do you come multiple times in the day? What's or, that? Or is this your only? Oh, I usually check to see if they're going to be here over in the night. There was times when people were sleeping four or five nights here. So, uh, Have they lately been out here at night? No, no, the last couple of weeks since the uh, uh, Mexican National Guard has they say close the border on the other side they haven't really but it means that the price to cross went way so far up that very a lot less people can afford to cross it do you know how much these uh, individuals pay i have no idea but so it's only in the thousands of dollars i mean yeah it's all different i mean it's all different depending on you know, hey come on the dude on this side they get what they can get you got 20 bucks they'll take it you got two thousand bucks they'll take it what do you what do you think i mean that's the way this shit works gotcha gotcha how many how many have you seen here at once um, I've seen 350 people here. Some of them stay here for five nights. Five nights before they even before border patrol we'll comes. even pick them up. When they get picked up, where they get how they get picked up? Like you know, they pick them up and line them up and walk them out to a bus out there. A bus. Yeah. And then they bus them to wherever they bus them. To. Has lately the bus has been coming once a day? Somebody told me the local said once a day maybe. The oh, bus. it depends on how many people are here. I think. I mean, sometimes it's building up. Building up a lot. Actually, all I got to do is count. See how many got it looks like, like a few hundred to get for tomorrow, you know, because yeah, you know, it looks like a few hundred. Looks like a few hundred to me. A lot yeah, more there's yesterday, a lot more. Oh, a lot more than yesterday. Look, is it so? How how long have you been doing this out here? I've been doing this for 115 days straight. So has the more and more has it been getting more and more people or less? Oh, no, we have more. And then, like I said, when I don't know if you thought blanket went down to Mexico. Yeah. Okay, a deal was made. I don't know what, but a deal was made, and the Mexicans could change the way that they. Have, you know, deal with this on the other side. So you seem been seeing less since the then? The less, for the last couple of weeks, but it's building up again right now. Building I think again. we're getting back to where we were a month ago. Yeah, because I'm thinking weather, right? Because the weather here oh, is like... I'm, I think about the weather all the time. Gotcha. All right, so we're getting some insight, and here are more coming. Here are more coming, folks. More are coming. So it's just a continuous flow. I'm sorry? What's your name? Lopi. Where are you going to? U.S. No, like what city? New York. New York? New York. Atlanta. Atlanta? New York, America. Okay, thank you.
ਯਾਰ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਭਰਾ So here on the, uh, in, in in California it is eight o'clock. It's it's eight o'clock in the morning, folks, and there is a few hundred migrants here. And I just you know we've been seeing a constant flow of migrants coming in. From down there the end there where that mound is is where the border wall ends and there's literally a, just a hole and you can just they get dropped off these these pickup trucks coming and we haven't seen pickup trucks lately since we've been on here but the pickup trucks will come down and they'll go all the way down and then they'll as you heard one of the journalists say 23 were in one of those pickup trucks or the SUV pickup truck SUVs and uh, they get loaded out and they come over the fence there and then they come all the way down here and then they come into this like camp here and as as locals have said sometimes they wait out here for days sometimes uh, a bus will come once a day this is a kumba this information needs to be shared and just seen firsthand what is going on I mean, obviously the border is not secure here and Border Patrol seems totally overwhelmed um, at this location. Totally overwhelmed. Now, let me get my map. Let me just, I'm going to show you exactly where I am on the map. Let me get my map out and show you exactly where I am. You guys can have an idea where I am. I'm gonna spread my map out. Give me one second. So just to give you an idea of where I'm at, this is where I'm at right now. And it's off of old highway 80. Old Highway 80. So if you want to see exactly where I'm at, this is exactly where I'm at. Off of Old Highway 80. Uh, below the railroad tracks. And the wall ends a little bit over here. The wall ends. This is a Kumba Hot Spring. So this is, gives you an idea exactly where I'm at right now. They got a fire going on over here. Oi! I suspect there's going to be a bus soon, so we're gonna we're gonna watch the bus. We're gonna watch the bus.
Let's go over and look at this fire. Some of that backpacks. Hey brother, what is the name of the channel? Yeah. Watch it later. Yeah, watch it later. Where are you guys going? You guys speak English? Yeah. Where are you guys going? Oh, you come from India? Yeah. What city are you going to? California. California? Yeah. Los Angeles or? You don't know yet? Yeah. Gotcha. How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19? Yeah. 20. 20? Yes. You guys plan to work? Yeah. What do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do in this country? Study St yeah, or work uh, anything. Study with work. So you want to go to school? Yeah. And, and, and study any type of uh, career you want? Like, what do you want to be uh, when you grow up? I don't decide yet. You don't decide yet? Yeah. So, did you come alone, you guys? Or, like, with your parents? Where's no, your... no, no, alone. Both are alone. You came alone? Yeah. Is your parents back in India? Yes. So why didn't your parents come with you? They don't want to come? Yeah. So, do you plan to bring your family to America? Yeah, yeah. Once you, what are you trying to get, citizenship? Yes. So, how much did it cost for you to get to here? Like, how much did they, how much you pay? I don't know in the dollars. So, when you came from India, where did you, how did you get here? Like, what countries did you go to get here? First in Canada. Canada? Yeah. Uh, then uh, in Mexico, then America. How did you go from Canada to Mexico? I got Canada visa. Oh, you got Canada visa? Yeah, but, but so the, what, did you take a plane from Canada to Mexico? Or? Yeah, plane. A plane? Yes, to so Cancun. To where? Cancun. Cancun? Mexico. Yeah. So where where in Canada did you go? Like uh, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. So you flew from India to yes, Toronto. Yes, India to Toronto. And then Toronto flew to Cancun. And then, no, no, India to Toronto. India to Toronto, Toronto to Cancun. Got you, got you, got you. Did you have to get like any kind of papers or travel visas? Or? Yes, yes, travel visas. We have travel visas. Okay. Okay, oh. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting, right? Right? So, help me understand. Did he say that he went to Canada, to then Mexico, and then here? Very, very interesting. Right. I think they came here alone, 19 and 20 years old. They were 19, 20. Their parents are in India. That's what they. That's what he said. He said he wants to go to school. He said he wants to go to school. And I appreciate them coming up and talking to me. You know, that a lot of them don't speak English. I do have a Google Translator, so I'm working on that. I'm working on. Um, I want to ask questions, but if people are willing to talk, we want to understand how the methods of travel. We want to understand where they started from, how they got here, what organizations, how much they paid, and what's their goal, and what they want to do here, once once they're here. As you heard, some, some have nowhere to go, some don't have any plans for any job, while others, as you heard, said they want to go, you know, do schooling here. All right, we got Border Patrol, or we got more Border Patrol coming. I suspect a bus is going to be here soon, folks. Thank you, uh, Dawn. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Your support helps me get you know out here and get these locations. I might I might stay at this location for another day since the reception is good and this seems like an epicenter. But this is happening also in Lukeville, Arizona. And this is this is.
So I think the border patrol is just gonna leave. Look at the tents. Look at all the makeshift tents here. So people have been camping out here. It's just a camping ground. And as, as we're told, some people camp out here for days. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jet. Thank you, everyone. I might, I might stay here for a day at this location. Uh, I want to see one, how these people get transported out of here, and then I want to see progressively how many more come. Have you ever seen anything like this? I have not. <laughs> I have not. I'm, I'm, I'm going farther out to just show you what it looks like at, at a distance. I mean, everyone seems peaceful. I haven't seen anyone hostile, which I still am vigilant for sure. Smoking. I can smell the smoke from the fire. Yeah, it's a lot of like Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look what they put here. They put some sort of, look at this. That's wow. Dude, it's a total like, I don't know. I'd say a few hundred. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 50, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 150. Definitely over a hundred. Just to give you a perspective of the terrain on here, I'm just gonna show you. This is just literally out in the middle of nowhere in Akumba. And you could just tell there's there's been fires all over the place up here. Fires. People have been camping out. There's there's mountains in the background. There's the wall. I think they're gonna burn more wood over there. This is on US soil, folks. So let me let me see your thoughts in the comments. Right now live Akumba. There's a gigantic camp building. Haven't seen more migrants come yet. Haven't heard the cars go. We're on the other side of the wall there to drop more off. One of the guys over there said, the guy that drops food off uh, and water for him said, he's been out here over 100 days straight giving water. He's more on the humanitarian side aspect. He said... Uh, since Blinken went to Mexico, I guess that was a few weeks ago, he said it's supposed to calm down a little bit, but he sees it ramping back up.
just to give you a perspective of what the area looks like in the terrain. Here is the wall. All the way down there at the at the at that where that mound is at the end there, that's where the, the wall ends, and that's where they're coming through. And then they they walk up this dirt road in groups, probably 20, groups of 20, and then make their way to this camp here. And there's some separated, you know, some are just hanging out out here just waiting. Starting to warm up a little bit out here, which feels good. It was cold this morning. It's not unbearable at all. The, the sun makes it warmer. As, as we saw, there is a variety of people from many countries. Women, children, men, young, old. There's even a tent on the fence there. This goes down for a distance. I drove all the way down there this morning. Windmills in the back. Some of the people here are starting to venture off. I don't know. Um, you know, you got to look out maybe possibly for gotaways. Where people just straggle and go away from the group. We're going to see what happens here when a bus comes. Actually feels good out here now. We'll go walk back down. I'm going to, I'm going to take a peek in some of these tents so we can see... Uh, these tents. And I appreciate everyone. Share this video out. Share what's going on in Akumba. So, another border patrol is here. See what this border patrol does. He's opening up a soda. He has a soda. Maybe a beer. <laughs> Remember when we were down at Eagle Eagle Pass and the guy would cut cross and he cracked open a Coors Light or some sort of beer. <laughs> so welcome. I'm I'm in America. Oh, it's so I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna get some tape and uh, I've seen some other people, some other uh, 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 journalists have been here. One is uh, Ben Berkham and I saw a video of him. He's been covering this place uh, really good. I think uh, uh, another individual, Oreo Express, was just here the other day. Um, but Berkham got like some, I don't know, he made a he made like a fishing line based out of some of this, uh, some of these tents and put some tape on it. Because down there, where the ending is, right, where they're coming in through the hole or, you know, through the ending of the wall, there's travel documents all over on the other side there. And he reached through and kind of, you know, picked them up and put tape on, 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 on the end of there and got in. And there were like travel documents. So 
a lot of people have been leaving their travel or burning or leaving their travel documents on the other uh, side once they get to the border. And that's suspect, a little bit fishy, right? Why would you burn your travel document? Here's a travel document right here. Something. Some sort of, uh, I don't want to, it has personal information on it. Oh, I don't want to read it, but it looks like some sort of, uh, look at it, it's like a travel visa. Let me, look at this. It's a passport, dude. It's a passport, dude. Dude has a Turkey passport. It's from Turkey. I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to edit it out. I'll uh, edit it out. It has stuff on there. That's wild, folks. I'm going to keep it from Turkey <laughs> What are bimbo rolls? Rolls Bimbo. I never even heard of bimbo rolls. Bimbo rolls. What is that? They got a fire right there going. Got the fire. So we got Border Patrol in the distance just watching. Watching this just group, large group here. And then you got more tents. Look into these tents. I'm told they have to leave their tents behind because they're not allowed to take anything. Blankets. People. I mean, they got food out here. Bimbo, Wonder Bread, Dover. What is Dover? Dover. Yeah, it, it, it smells like burnt fire out here. Like this is like a, it's like a refugee camp. It's, it, that's what it reminds me of. It might be it. I don't know. Fires, people burnt fires all over the place. Fires, fires, fires. Share this video out, everyone. JLR investigates Hukumba. Got one media guy here just floating around taking pictures.
Live. Where are you guys from? India. India, where are you going? What's what city? California. California, thank you. Where are you going? You speak English? <laughs> no English? Yes. Oh, I spoke to you earlier. You speak English. Spanish. Spanish. Thank you. Thank you for the support, uh, Cyber Ninja. Yeah, as far as more coming in, I haven't seen any more. Um, what's he doing? He's taking a selfie. He's taking a selfie on the wall. He's taking a selfie on the wall. Look at this. What do you guys think? Border Patrol just sits and watches. So I don't know when the bus is going to come. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, twenty, forty, six. There's about two hundred people here. I'd say about two hundred. Give me a crowd control size. What do you think? Estimate it. How many people? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Cyber Ninja, thank you. Cyber Ninja ask, uh, Jay, please talk to anyone you can about passport. Oh my God, that's a real bad thing. Wonder how many of them kids were kidnapped. Interesting. Um, it's an interesting perspective, and uh, people have speculated that some of the children are not 
you know, whoever's with them or not their biological parents. We've heard things like that. I'm going to take you over to the wall and just show you. But those uh, SUVs have stopped for now. Oh, we got another group coming. Look, another group just came. Oh, we got another group. Another large group just arrived. Asian. brought luggage they brought their luggage with them here's someone else's travel documents right there crumbled up These ones right here, they keep they keep going back towards the border wall. They're just walking away. Where are they going? So they're just walking away from the group. I interviewed that little uh, little guy with the with the white sweatshirt. He he was from the India. He's just walking away. They're going away. Look, he's leaving the camp. This is the camp. Remember, I interviewed that guy. So he's. You're doing push up. Oh, they're coming back. Coming back. And then look at the wall. Let me just show you over here the wall. This is Mexico on the other side. I can't even imagine what's in that bathroom. I'm not even going to open the door. I'm not even going to open the door to that porta potty. Thought I lost you guys for a second. The reception comes out pretty good here. All right, we got more Border Patrol trucks that have just arrived. Now we got three. What's going to happen here?
All right, Border Patrol is coming. Everybody's lining up. All right, we're going to see what happens over here. Everyone's lining up. Sorry guys, it was buffering out. All right, so they actually took women and children away. 
or children. Here's another van that just arrived, Border Patrol van. Let me take a walk up here. If the, if, if the stream goes bad, it might go bad. I just want to see what's up here at the end of the road up here where they marched the first group of uh, with children. But as soon as I got up here a little bit, it kind of buffered, it looked like, or it froze. So hopefully if it, if it gets bad, just bear with me and I'll work my way back down. We're gonna, I'm gonna see up here on the road if these individuals get loaded into some sort of vans or buses. I'm crossing some railroad, an old railroad track here. I heard Border Patrol say something like they didn't want them to be, they didn't want to see it be filmed or something like that. There's a single guy right there. We're gonna go up to the road. I'm looking at my other. Looks okay. The main road up here is Highway 80, and I wanna see what goes on up here at Highway 80. So, what's gonna happen most likely is the other groups are they're all gonna march up this road here, this dirt road onto old Highway 80. It's not far, it's around the corner, I saw. Onto the road. Okay, I heard noises up around the corner. Yeah, see, there is, yeah, they're loading them on buses. Here they are, they're loading them on buses. So the buses are here. Or not buses, I'm sorry, vans.
back of the van. Okay, go. You take the family thing together. All the way to the back. All the way to the back. There's the road up there. Highway 80, old Highway 80. It's right here. So just to kind of show you where I'm, where I'm at, folks, is I'm gonna I'm gonna get my map out and just show you my pinned location. So you see, there's a dirt road here, right off a of high old Highway 80. And on this dirt road, let me just get me, where am I? I can show you. I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm at. So you guys know, I gotta zoom this in. I'm gonna zoom this in. Hold on, give me one second, folks. Let me zoom this in. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna zoom this in. Okay. So here it is. Here's this location right off a of whole old highway 80 that's right here and it's a dirt road and it's just west of Hakumba. Hakumba's right over there. Hakumba Springs. And it's like on the curve up here. Let me spin the camera around. So I can just show you. So there's a house right there at the curve. Right? So you guys can see for yourself. And now they went that way they went west and this is an old dirt road this is an old dirt road here and that way is uh okumba springs it's just it's just west so we're gonna go back down this dirt road and we're gonna go back down to the the migrant camp I've seen other videos where they marched them up to this corner here and sometimes they come up here on their own and then just sit up here and wait right here and wait right here. But you can see there's all trash up here. There's just trash all over the place, trash. So we're gonna
We're gonna walk all the way back down. Guys, want to say hi to anyone back home? Well, like next door or what? Anywhere, family, friends. We got a we got a pretty pretty big network. Everyone's watching, seeing what's going on in real time. Live streaming? Or we're, we're live streaming. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it comes out good out here. Pretty pretty solid. We got to, well, We got a solid 1,100 people watching, and uh, we just want to see what's firsthand, what's going on, and mm -hmm. everything like that. So more but more vans are coming. Space, we'll start more up. Gotcha. Stay safe. Technology marketing crisis. Yes, exactly. All right. <laughs> he said, hi, mom. Hi, dad. All right. So we're going to go over these railroad tracks, the walls over here. So uh, if you're just jumping on, welcome aboard. This is JLR Investigates. Uh, right off a of whole old highway 80 west of Akumba between Akumba and Boulevard there is a de dirt road here and if you wind down this dirt road it'll take you listen you a lot of you already know my position on all this right we've shared this before but when I'm out in the field I'm I'm Regardless of my opinion in the situation, I'm going to be respectful to everyone. I'm going to be respectful of everyone I encounter. I just want to just put that out there. That uh, be respectful in who I speak to and everything. Like that. Unless somebody comes at me all kinds of funny stuff. You guys know how I act then. But Okay, let's go. All right, so around this corner, let me go up on the railroad tracks here. Well, as you can see, they're already wandering around out here. See that? Plus, the Border Patrol is not giving anyone problems being out here. I don't even know if they own this particular lane. I, you know, this this must be, I mean, this is listed as a, as a road. So I, I don't even know if Border Patrol even owns this property here. Uh, I don't even know who owns the property. There's no, there's no signs that say no trespassing. All right, so we're approaching the camp over this railroad track here, and boom. Look at this. My God, look at this. See what I mean? Still probably over, definitely over 100. And then you got some stragglers sitting up there, and you got people all over the place just hanging out on rocks and the border wall. Um, how far from the nearest store? Interesting. Um, I think in Hakumba Springs they have a store there I saw, but not much. I saw a hotel. I saw a hotel. Um, I think Bolivar and last, last night Last night I there was a casino a little bit to the north and they advertised 99 prime rib and I got that. But there was like a restaurant. I, I had to eat somewhere. But there's not much out here. So yeah, as soon as you cross this old railroad line. 
And then you get into the camp. I think I'm going to stay here another night. But I am I am going to work my way to Lukeville. And there's other places too. Uh, there's other abandoned migrant camps nearby. Um, locals have told me different places. Campo has one too. And you know, earlier, uh, a couple days ago, we were at San Diego, Ramada Inn and Suites, Mission, Mission Valley closed down completely and they're bringing buses of migrants to stay there and at the Migrant Welcome Center on the San Diego School District property. This is as raw footage as you're going to get, folks. They got a spear, look, they, or it looks like a spear. Look, it's a camp all over the place. People are just hanging out all over the place, just hanging out, hanging out. Where are you from? Turkey. Turkey. Where are you going? All Turkey. Well, uh, what city in the United States are you going to? California. California. Turkey. City's from Turkey. People laying in the tent. Looks like as the sun's coming up, the reception's getting worse. I don't know. My buffering still got this. So some people are coming around to the side and using their phones. Using their phones to have a phone conversation. I should walk down. I should walk down. Let me see if we can go. Uh, I might as well take you down to the end. If you guys want to bear with me, it'll be about a five minute walk. I'll take you to the wall or where it ends.
We have to go to the edge of that mountain over there, but if we walk along the wall, I'll take you in this segment. Might as well do it so you get the full picture. So we'll walk along. We'll go. I'll show you where they're coming in at. And maybe when we're down there, We'll go down there. Yeah, I'll show you where they're coming in at. So you guys have a whole big picture because they, they mar march down here, as you saw. It's about a, it's over there where that mound is. So it's about a quarter mile away, I would say. Maybe a half a mile at the most. We'll walk down there. So I'll show you right where they come in. The dirt road on the other side is there. That's where the vehicles that bring them. And we might see, we might see somebody come across when we're down here. So they do this long walk footprints all out here. Long trek. the distance all right we're on the move So what's the point of having a wall when at the end here it's not even complete and they just go right around the opening? What's the point of all this? All this money spent for a wall and it's incomplete down here. Now I made some video before I went live and I followed this pickup or this uh, SUV that went this way, it was racing this way. It was going at like 60 miles an hour. And then they opened up the doors and about 20 migrants popped out. And then right over here, they just came right across. I have another phone here so I, I can see. Reception, I'm shocked at the reception. I, I'm, I'm just baffled that the reception works here. Considering this is out. So I'm glad I was able to provide you guys this service. We got a little bit more to go, folks. Just bear with me. I hear crickets out here. Now this what part of the wall here turns into some sort of, I don't know, it looks like piping or something.
Someone's following me. I'm being followed by two people. So I don't know what that's about. Two people are following me. Thank you, Pumpkin. Thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. See, this is stuff that the mainstream media doesn't necessarily cover, right? They cover it, but they kind of keep things secret and they don't want to share the whole truth about it. And they want to edit and video clip. And, and I think it's important for live streamers to show in real time, in real locations, and the whole dynamics and let you all decide how you feel about it. Like I'm showing you literally the route that people take the walk once they cross in. It's so barren out here. But on the other side, like, look on the other side. There's, like, on the other side of Mexico. I'll show it to you. There's, like, farms. Farms on this side. Really quiet out here. I don't know why two people are following me. Getting closer, folks. Okay, so they're turning around. That's good. They're turning around. I thought I, I thought they were gonna. They're turning around, so that's good. All right. They don't want to pursue me. All right. I feel I feel I feel at a uh, a little bit at ease. I know you guys are like wondering about my safety. I am out here right now alone here. Almost there folks, almost there. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my, uh, one of my members, subs, have gotten me the, these wonderful hiking, Steven, and I appreciate that. I'm wearing them right now. I'm utilizing them right now. MK Ultra, thank you. These cool hiking, and they feel great. Border boots. Yeah, they feel great. wild because this mountain actually goes the border the border goes right like through this mountain <sighs> at least we're getting in those good steps
Yes, literally boots on the ground. Oh, this was wild too because when I came up here earlier and I was filming them come across, when I zoomed up and followed that SUV on the other side that dropped them off right up here, I got out of my car and I left my car door open with my car running. And then when they all started coming out over here into illegally coming to the line, they started getting into my car. And I'm like, no, no, no. They thought that, that I, they thought that was like they were supposed to get in. They all started opening up the doors and going in my car. I was like, no, 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 get out of my car. And they're like, sorry, sorry. It's pretty uh they thought like I was the taxi or something, or I was the Uber, or I was their transport to their next destination. Almost there, folks. I keep saying almost there. Yeah, this has been like a 10 minute walk. I think it's gonna be wor well worth it, folks. you here I'll just stay quiet for a minute so you can hear hear the dogs I heard roosters or chickens or cock -a -doo 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 over on the side of Mexico yeah they thought I was uber I guess or lyft <laughs> like no 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 Yeah, it's a long walk. We're almost there. <laughs> We're getting there. We're almost there. This is the long rec trek that they take once they cross in. They're using this vulnerability right here. The fence stops right up here on this mountain. pretty cool today so I am hydrated thanks for your concern uh, I'm not thirsty at this time oh yeah this is an awesome walk getting thirsty just watch me yeah we walked a, quite a distance in this one i'm shocked that they all walk down to this camp from here there they must be told Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Almost there. Almost there, folks. Yeah, maybe it's a half a mile trek. Yeah, I still have to walk back. Be feel good though. I can do it. Look at this. Someone left their car, like an old car here. Look at this. Look at that. What in the world? Someone's car got stuck. Huh. How long has that thing been there? All right, it's right up here. It's probably got stuck here when it was uh, dropping off migrants. Transport vehicle malfunctioned. Probably blew a head gasket or something. All right, we're coming to an end. Appreciate all you guys sticking in. We're seeing the truth here. You're seeing the truth right here. Say another uh, few hundred feet. All right, here it is, folks. This is where they come in illegally. This right here is where they come in illegally. Right here, folks. This is it. where they come in illegally right here and they just walk right in and they just walk right in welcome to America isn't that wild then they come in they come in groups Get dropped off right there and then take that long half mile walk it's right here at the edge of the mountain 
looks like a, they, they stopped the wall here. It looks like some barbed wire going up here like barbed wire. See what I mean? Like I'm literally on the border. And there's Mexico. Hole right there. Little hole you go right through. Go walk through. Now, I want to be by the book, so I'm not going to go on the other side. Obviously, I don't want to go and step in Mexico. Because I'd be a hypocrite, right? Uh-oh, I got 15% battery left. Let me just show you on this other side. See all the papers? Car comes right there and drops them off. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back and regroup here. Get myself some battery chargers. I think I'm going to stay another day. They go right there. They come out. I filmed it. Then they come right out here. Yeah, totally unreal, right? Oh, look at probably all these travel. Yeah, ripped up papers. Ripped up papers. Travel documents, all ripped up. Ripped up papers. Lots of ripped up papers, ripped up papers. So my arms are in Mexico. What's your thoughts? <sighs> On the walk back. On the walk back. Share your thoughts, folks. Wish we, uh, I'm gonna do some battery charging, get myself something to eat, kind of hungry, and then, uh, probably make the decision to stay another day. And then I get my tripod and I'll come out later. I wanna, I wanna live stream it to you guys, uh, what is going on as far as when they arrive and drop off migrants to cross into the U.S. there. I want to perch right there and, and, and wait. And uh, I think it would be great for us to see it in real time. Or real time. So that will be my next step here as I'm walking back. It's a far walk. Far walk. Um, there's no regulations out here, so I can stream however I want to stream out here. I have a tripod. I do have battery packs, too. I just wasn't walking around with a battery pack.
there's that old car again. <laughs> they got an old, just an old car here. I don't know what's up with this. This thing is beat up. Most likely probably loaded people. Busted down. Pill bottles. Look at the pill bottles. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. Walk softly. Thank you. Well, def I'm definitely not walking softly. We're making a lot of noise here. Feet are crum crunching. We're, we're sharing what goes on here on the border. Thought I heard a car. If there was a car, I would have ran back to show you. Unfortunately. Oh, no, that's that shaking. Wow. Yeah, just look at the totality of the video. We've seen it all. I got to bounce. My, my battery's low. I got to bounce, guys. <laughs>